the Phoenix and Phantom. How cute. Look at these two. You can see the drastic difference in these bows. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do my little detailed walkthrough that I normally do on my boats. I'm gonna start back here at the stern and work my way forward. I've heard nothing but positive feedbacks from this design. I know it looks a little crazy looking. It's very wide here, narrows up in the front. You can see wide and squared off and kind of narrows up. All right, let me go ahead and start to walk through. Walk, I'm gonna start back here at the stern. I'm gonna go deck first. Right away, Wave Sport kept their big, nice aluminum grab handles. Nice big cutout. Very technical looking cutout. I like the looks of this. It's big for like clipping onto a carabiner. Safety, these things have a braking strength of thousands of pounds, very nice. Rubberized drain plug. You guys, I know, drain plugs are, it's in a good location too. You're not gonna break this drain plug off where it's at right there. It's in a good location where it won't break. Look at this deck styling on how it kind of comes down into a point right here. This kind of like flares off right here. Very interesting deck styling here in the back. Moving on up, the Phoenix. Phoenix, really cool name. I, could, I can imagine that the Phoenix is like Wave Sport rising up again. I can definitely see that why they would name it the Phoenix. I love this graphic. It looks really good. It's big. It's bold. I like it. Color-wise, I love this color. Guys, you're going to love Wave Sport's color offering. This color is called Raspberry. I think they've got like Cyber Yellow, Cherry Bomb. I'll throw the colors up on the screen and kind of like the boats and let you kind of see. I'm not sure. I think they have a limited edition orange color that they're doing. Molding quality is very good. Very good. It's very similar to what like Dagger does as far as molding quality. Very good molding quality. I like it. Very nice texture to the molds. Nice big safety handles here for swimmers, for grabbing a hold of, place to kick on, to reach up, get onto the boat. This boat would be great for safety boating, video boating, things like that. I really like these grab handles. Wayport did a good job on that. Big, huge deck right here. Here's one thing I don't really like. I'm not a big fan of these molded in wall holders. Dagger used to do this and it would always come out thin right here. That feels thin right there. It's hard to get resin down in those sharp surfaces. So what we did at Dagger, we moved and put a button back here and screwed the wall down. Would recommend them maybe looking into that. That's a better system. And it, it helps lighten the boat and it has a cleaner look. They work, but I'm just not that big of a fan of them anymore. Cockpit rim. Here's one thing that Wave Sports always had that was like a little confusing to me. You don't need kiss offs back here. You're just adding extra weight. You're adding a lot of extra to this cockpit rim. If you look at the detail they do in their rims, I don't think you need it as much. I would like to see them get rid of these types, cut this rim down. This, this works well. Yeah, I like this. This actually works really well to go through the rim like that. I'm gonna go over this real quick. I'm not gonna break it down. For you guys, this is the core whiteout. How do I know so much about Wave Sports outfitting? Well, I used to work for Wave Sports, so Wave Sport was a brand that I kind of was like over. Uh, so I know a lot about this outfitting. I helped t tweak a lot of this outfitting. I helped work on it, prototype it. So yeah, so I'm just going to go over this core whiteout system with you guys real quick. This is basically a version of the Contour Ergo system, but this is called the Core Whiteout system, which is has the, the leg lifter. This is marine, marine grade vinyl. This is the kind of vinyl that you'd see like in a boat, like a bass boat or something you'd see on the back. It's very wear resistant. It's good over long hauls. This stuff holds up well. The wording doesn't last very well. You'll rub the wording off, but you know what? It's just words, who cares? They have the hooks back here, these little hooks for getting in the back of the rim nice area in the back two grab hooks i don't think you need this many back here i would lose one of those they could go with one and be just fine back here it does have a good supply of foam with it to outfit this the hip pads are real you know they're not as good as daggers hip pads but they're still very good they have two straps strap on the bottom strap on the top and it goes on velcro so this thing doesn't move on you i really like their hip pads they function really well nice hip pads back band you're going to adjust your ratchet straps here you're going to just thread that in tighten it up so you don't max out your ratchets and ratcheted leg lifter right here you adjust the seat the same as you would a dagger boat you loosen those two bolts slide you loosen those two bolts loosen that bolt slide it back this is where it gets drastically different than like a dagger boat 
the thigh braces. These are the Wave Sport thigh braces, and I have a love hate with these thigh braces. I love them that they they really hug your 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 thigh nicely right there. Very nice on the way these thigh braces function right here. They're adjustable. One bolt here, one bolt here. I don't know if you can see that. You move them back. You can adjust them. You can also take these off and remove the backing plate so that way your knees can go out farther and touch the, the side of the hull. So they are fully adjustable back, forth, and you can take them apart. Very cool that that system still exists. Now what I don't like about them, it's a big metal plate with two um, injected molded pieces onto it with hardware in it. They're heavy. They add, once again, Wave Sport's biggest plague to me was their weight issue. These are heavy boats. This boat comes in a little over 50 pounds. I can tell just by hauling it around. But yeah, oh, the specs. Let's go into the specs. This boat is nine foot long. I'll throw the specs up on the screen and let you guys see the specs. It's nine foot. I'm not sure of the width, but it's, it looks really wide behind the hips, but it's a little narrow up there by the knees. It's wide behind the hips and it narrows up. It's got a lot of volume here. I'm thinking it's around about 92 gallons of volume. I have paddled this. This feels more like a big medium. It does not feel like a large boat. It feels like a, like a big medium. Here's something kind of cool. This, look how they do their throw rope. So I have a throw rope there, right? And here's a problem that Dagger had found out. Check that out. That water bottle's not going anywhere even though I have my throw rope. Is that not a cool system? That's just kind of like one of those simple things that functions nicely. They have a... They have this accessory hook. I never was a fan of that. You don't really need that, in my opinion. All this is locked down through here. You don't really need that accessory hook. Once again, it's got the same nice step-out pillar, roller molded step-out pillar. It's got the adjustable bulkhead, the toe cups that go up and down. The bulkhead goes back and forth. They're going one bolt on the side instead of two, like Dagger does. But they're using the same type of outfitting. Very nice, very safe, very nice outfitted. Security bar, I never did, thought we needed really a big handle up here. It is okay, but this is a good bar for running the straps through, hooking onto, nice area right there. Hellbender Outdoors sticker, that's the uh, retailer. I'll get into that here in a minute. Another nice big handle there. Graphics here, Waysport graphics along the side right there. You can see that. That's all I got on the deck. I'm gonna roll it over and go over the hull because I know you guys wanna see the hull. Let's get it up on its side first. You can see the bow rocker there. It's rounded off right here, so it's not a sharp edge. It rounds down very wide and then widens back up right here, similar to the way the Alpha does. Comes down, has that Alpha style parting line that comes down and then comes down to a point right here. You can see that edge. Look at this edge back here. Seal number, there it is edging right there all the way down and then this edge rounds off let's just go ahead and roll it on over there you go as you guys can see this boat is very flat let's just put let's see what letman thinks about it look at that even letman thinks it's a pretty flat boat it is a full planing all the way throughout it starts out in the bow really wide and flat with curved off edges here, and it planes out, stays flat all the way, gets really flat there in the center, flattens out and then stays flat and has more like a, a slight like displacement meets planing surface right here. Nice big cool wasteboard graphic. Looking at the edge, sharp edge running right there all the way from the center of the boat it goes around very very sharp and then right here which is not far behind your hips the edge fades out and it fades out into a rounded surface I don't know if you guys can see how round that surface is all the way down and then that edge is just completely gone so yeah very interesting hole this hole's like nothing else I've seen on the market today so it's gonna paddle probably like nothing else out there today a lot of rocker right here once again another high rocker bow, bow but it's very flat and very planing so similar to like a boat like the scorch i love these wide flat planing surfaces for getting on big holes big waves coming over big volume stuff very nicely and then it goes back it's not so rockered in the stern i don't know if you can see that in the camera 
but the stern rocker's not very high here. So it's got a low profile stern on it. All right, everybody, that's the full walkthrough. These are being distributed in the USA now, Hellbender Outdoors. I'll leave his link to and description on where you can pick some of these up. But I'm very impressed with the first shot. It's good to see Wavesport back in America. I love this brand. I've always loved the Wavesport brand. Really cool looking to see them back again. But yeah, if you guys, Hellbenders Outdoors, tell them you've seen my video and I sent you down there. You better get on, on them quick if you're wanting to buy one of these boats. I think he's he's being very economically priced, like somewhere between like $900 to $1,200. All right, everybody, that's all I got on the Wavesport Phoenix. Leave in the comments below if this is a boat you've paddled. There have been some people here in the U.S. that's paddled them, and I know a lot of you guys overseas that watch my channel. Leave in the, the comments below what your opinion of this boat is. It has been around for a couple years now, so it's not brand new, but I'd really like to hear your opinion of what you think of this design. Uh, thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, catch you guys next time. Oh, yeah. Phoenix.